What's up guys? So today we are, it is actually before sick week, but you'll see this long after that because we got uh, quite a bit of stuff to going on with the red car and then the whole trip's going to be pretty insane. So I won't really mess with this too much until then, but we are working on Justin's Nova and you can see he's got the hood taken off and got a couple things pulled out of it. But the plan is for this is to freshen the motor. It has been in here for four years and what to say, 5,000 miles or more, 7,000 7, miles. And it's seen, I think it's had three or four head gasket replacements. Yeah. And <laughs> so this has definitely been through its fair share of abuse and it uh, compression test was okay, but not ideal. So we're gonna take this thing apart, freshen the motor up. And he actually got a set of Texas Speed heads and they are very similar to the Trick Flow 220s. So it's a thicker deck. It'll be all set up so it can actually make some more boost. And he also got a VS Racing 88103 for it. So this car is gonna be set up to go much faster now. It's not a track car, but it's gonna be badass to mess up people on the street with. And that's typically what we do with this one. So the plan is, get this thing mostly torn apart and when we get back from Florida, um, we're going to pull the motor out. So we're going to start ripping this thing down and get it all ready to take apart. And then once we get everything cleaned up, refreshened, put it back in with the bigger turbo and we're going to make a alteration so we can run a hood exit out of this thing, which is going to be super badass. which I think if you looked at my Instagram story, you've seen it, but it's just a huge five inch pipe that comes right off of here and goes just like that. And that'll be a no hood thing because we don't want to cut up the factory hood, but it should be pretty fucking awesome. And uh, we're gonna get to taking things apart. So the work never ends. We're always doing something. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I fail so depressed when I can't seem to get out. By worth, I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work. I ain't tired, you first. I write a second, third verse about the lies you go disperse. You never did shit, I know it hurts. Something deep inside won't let me quit. I swear that I'm inspired by all this shit. Tell me that I can and I won't. That's what got me the most. Fuck your lies, I'll do what I want. Exhaust is completely off, turbo's out, radiator out, I'm getting some shit done. Making a mess as always, fucking antifreeze blows, but everything's looking good. So not sure what we're gonna take off next because we're kind of just waiting to, for the day we take the whole thing out, but she's coming apart nicely. All right, so we are back. I am back. What it do, baby? As I said in the beginning of the video, we started before sick week and now we are home. It's been a couple of weeks and the motor is going to come out of the Nova. So we just pop the intake manifold off and we're getting ready to get this thing hanging on an engine stand so we can slap some, do a little engine rebuild and then put these awesome new cylinder heads Justin got off of them. I'll take them out of the box a little later and show you what they look like. But the thick, thick deck ones are basically a Trick Flow 220. They came from Texas Speed hooked us up with some good stuff, so that should be pretty awesome. So we're gonna keep uh, taking stuff apart here, hopefully have this motor out in a couple hours or so. That's the plan.
That's how you gotta do this on some cars. Struggle like a bastard. There you go, she's coming out. Sorry for the shaking, I'm the one uh, running this guy, but everything come out nicely. It was a little bit of a pain, but nothing too terrible. And uh, there you go, engine out. Not too shabby, we had a little bit of a spillage. Goo! But, oh well, <laughs> it looks good. Well, I forgot to start the camera. You suck, you jackass. But uh, we are mid rip apart of this motor. So far so good. Everything's flying off beautifully, but uh, we're gonna keep chipping away. Hopefully this whole thing is completely disassembled by the end of the night. The Nova's over here looking pretty bare. We'll be back to her soon.
Oh, baby. Walsh is open, but we got a little dingy boys on these three. Yeah, dingy boys, sorry, my <laughs> life. <laughs> 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 and uh, looks like we pushed a little bit of water on. Let me flip this guy over. Right over here, he's like little popped out a little bit, so not really sure. This kind of was maybe a little more expected, but as far as these pistons being dinged up, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. And I haven't even looked at the head yet, but as far as this goes, you can see the pit marks on the heads here, Justin. So it's been a couple days, but um, we had a great night that night. We kind of had a little party after we uh, got the motor tore apart. My GoPro ran out of footage and we just had people all over the place. So we had some brewskis and just had a good time with it. But uh, yeah, as far as the damage to the engine, that's super strange. I did notice, and I'll show you on this head. I don't think this head has it, but on his head, you could see it in the video. If you go back and watch it, there were cracks right in between the valves right up in here on each one all the way down. Every single head had them right in there. So I've seen it before and a majority of the time they don't leak, but um, it's kind of weird. Like I don't, I just don't understand why. His does have a little bit oversized valves in it. So I'm not sure if that played a part in that or what the deal was, but um, overall just a super strange deal. I talked to Steven on the phone about it and uh, he was like, well, something had to go through it, but everything looks perfect. I mean, the turbo wheel is clean. It's an air-to-air -air intercooler, so I don't think anything could make it through that. But I guess I don't know either. You know, small enough, maybe it could. Throttle blade had the screws in. Blow-off valve was in good shape. Um, we had the heads off like 1,500 miles ago, and those weren't there. So it's definitely quite the odd scenario on what the deal is with that. I... Uh, I think they'll be fine. Steven thinks they'll be fine. We're going to pop them out and see, you know, just make sure the ringlands aren't cracked or anything like that or it didn't ruin anymore. And Justin's dad's going to come over and give a good old look at him. He used to build a whole lot of motors, so he knows what he's doing. And I'm sure they're all right, but uh, we'll get the word from, from Justin's dad and we'll take him out and see what everything looks like. As far as we did pop one rod cap off, we were going to pull the mains, but we didn't have a 12 point for the ARP studs, so we ended up just leaving them and He'll either grab one or I'll run back with my tools and we'll do it again. But um, definitely super weird scenario. But so far we're thinking just a whole rebuild since we're going to put the whole heads on. Because otherwise we're kind of considering leaving it if everything was in good shape. But we'll definitely have to do rings if we're going to take the pistons out. But all to be expected. And I will be doing some more filming on that car as we start putting it back together and rebuilding the motor and all that fun stuff. As along with my ride because it's just going to be Motor City for Justin and I here this late winter into early spring, but that's all right. We'll be all ready to go for the summer. We're gonna do some cruises, maybe a little drag and drive. I don't know, we'll find out. Fours, not sevens, cause I'm gonna put a gnarly gear in it. But anyway, that's the end of this video, guys. I appreciate y'all for watching. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Channel has been doing great lately and I've been having a heck of a lot of fun. So I'm gonna try to keep doing two, three videos a week. I like it, it's fun, um, yeah. So thanks y'all for watching.